welcome to all in the new lecture that is on euler and hamilton paths so what is euler and uh, hamilton paths first of all we talk about the euler path and circuits so and euler path is a path using every edge of the graph g exactly once means that path you already know what is the path so what is the euler path if our path Uh, we choose that path which has using every edge of the graph exactly once means a uh, not counted again uh, repeat uh, edges uh, should not be repeated here and what is euler circuit in euler circuit a year uh, is an euler path that returns to its start means if we start or such a one vertex and come to the Uh, to cover all the edges we come to the our end point is that we that we have the starting point so that become a euler circuit let's take an example for this suppose we have this type of uh, graph so can you tell me that this is a uh, it should make the uh, euler circuit or not so you can see you can take any vertex suppose from here we go this one this one this one this one but no we can't go uh, like that path we can't cover like that path in which we cover all the edges without repeating the edge right so this is not the euler circuit clear it now necessary and sufficient conditions for this how about multi graphs so a connected multi graph has a euler circuit if each of its vertices has an even degree and a connected multi graph has a euler path but not an euler circuit if and only if it has exactly two vertices of odd degree so now let's take example which of the following graphs here we have some graphs are there so you have to check that these graphs are euler, form the euler circuit or not our first graph is that here we have the five vertices are there a b c d and e so and 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 edges are there so can you tell me this is for, uh, it forms the euler circuit or not so yes this form the euler circuit and which uh, which type uh, what's the path of this euler circuit that is a e c d e b a so you can see that here you cover all the edges of this graph without repeating the edges and here uh, vertex may be repeated okay so you have to remember this in euler circuit or euler path vertex may be repeated but the edges edges should not be repeated okay so and uh, you can see that you we start the point a and at last our end point is also the a vertex so it make the euler circuit next one suppose our graph is like that and here we have the five vertices are there a b c d and e so can you uh, search any path in which we cover all the edges without repeating the edges no so it not forms the euler circuit next one if we have this type of graph so here you can make any circuit here so we can take like that no we can take is like that <clears throat> so you can cover all the edges but not the starting point so this is not form the euler circuit okay this is not form the euler circuit next one is uh, here we have again some graphs are there so which graph form the euler path so you think that if our graph is euler circuit so obviously it also the euler path okay so uh, earlier already i uh, saw that that uh, it becomes the euler circuit it means also it have the euler path and that is the same a e c d e b a now next one this become a euler path no because here we can't uh, choose any path in which we cover all the edges without repeated the edges so it not form the euler path now if we talk about this graph so here you can form a, any euler path 
Yes, here we can form the Euler path that is A, C, D, E, B, D, A, B. Right? So here no edges are repeated here, but the vertices are different, means the starting point and the end points are different, A, B. So here we take A, C, D, E, B, D, A, B, right? So all edges are covered here and no edges are repeated here, but the starting and the ending point of this is different. So it not form the Euler circuit, but it form the Euler path. Hear it? Now Euler circuit in in directed graph. Uh, till now we talk about the undirected graph. So if we have the directed graph, so how can we check the Euler circuit? So if we have suppose these three graphs. So if we talk about the first one H1 graph, so you can see here we can move only in the direction. Right, so A, B, we can't move B to A, right? So A to B, no. A to D, D to C, yes. C to B, but we can't go B to A. So it not form the Euler circuit. Now, this one, it form the Euler circuit? Yes, it form the Euler circuit because you can choose like that this one path A, G, C, B, G, E, D, F, A, right? We start from the vertex A and our ending point is vertex A and all we cover all the edges without repeated any edge. So it become the Euler circuit. Now if we talk about the, this one graph here, if we go like that C, D, B, C, A, B. So here uh, we go like that C, D, B, C, A, B, right? It becomes the Euler path, but not the Euler circuit because our first and last points are, vertices are different. So, it, if we talk about the Euler circuit, so it not form the Euler circuit. Now, if we talk about the Euler path, same here, we have the uh, three graphs are there. So, it is make the Euler circuit? No, it's not make the Euler circuit, but we can check that it makes the Euler path or not. So here uh, again, we have like that A, D, D, C, C, B, but we have not B, A, right? So it not make the Euler path. If we talk about this, we already know that this become uh, form the Euler circuit. So obviously, if it forms the Euler circuit, it means it has the Euler path. And same hour, we have this. This one is Euler path, but not the Euler circuit because Euler path is this C. We take here this one C A B C D B. Right? So all we cover all the edges without repeated the edges, and but our first and the last vertex are different, so it makes the Euler path. Now, next one is Hamilton path and circuits. So, what is the Hamilton path? A Hamilton path in a graph G is a path which visits every vertex G exactly once. So, what is the difference here from the Euler, pa uh, Euler path? That in Hamilton path, we have cover uh, a vertex only at once time. Note here, we can't repeat the vertex vertices, right? Note the edges, we can't repeat the edges and can't repeat the vertices also. And Hamilton circuit is same, is like that. This is a Hamilton path that returns to its start. Means if our first and the last vertex are same, so it becomes the Hamilton circuit. Uh, that Hamilton path becomes the Hamilton circuit, right? So in Hamilton uh, path, you have to remember this thing that we have exactly, we have to cover exactly one times any vertex and edges also but here in this we can leave some edges to cover all the vertices okay so you have to remember this point now suppose our we have this is this is any uh, decahedral uh, I don't puzzle is that and is equivalent to this we can make our equivalent graph is like that so can you tell me that here this circuit in this graph 
that passes through each vertex exactly once means he can form is like that a circuit which covers all the vertices at once means no uh, vertex should be repeated again right so can you form any circuit like that yes we can form it this circuit that passes through each vertex exactly once like that uh, how can we form this that every vertex uh, should be uh, come at once and cover all the vertex maybe we have to uh, leave the edges right but not repeated the edges so now check how to this pos uh, can we possible this suppose first we take from here this one to this one next we take this one here this and this we go from this vertex to this vertex next this to this this vertex and cover from this to this this one this and we have to cover here all the vertices without repeating any vertex and edges so yeah this is possible means our first and the last vertex is same and we you can see that we cover all the vertices no vertex are remaining here without cover and uh, here no edges are repeated here it may be there that some edges we have we can remove in our hamilton circuit so this become our hamilton circuit now some other examples to find the hamilton circuit suppose we have these three graphs so you can say that which of these three figures has a hamilton circuit in uh, out of these three which uh, graph has formed the hamilton circuit or hamilton path so we can see here first one if we talk about the g1 graph so it becomes a hamilton circuit that is a b c d a b c d e a right because we know that in hamilton circuit we can remove edges but not repeat the edges and we have to cover all the vertices without repeating so we can form the hamilton circuit is like that a b c d e a right now if we talk about the g2 so in g2 we can form is like that any circuit a b c d b no why because here b is repeated means it is not our the last point uh, first and the last point so this not form the hamilton circuit but it form the hamilton path a b c d b a b c d this one a b c d first and the last point uh, vertices are different so it becomes the hamilton path not the hamilton circuit if we talk about the graph g3 so it becomes a hamilton circuit or path a b g e f or we can say that t c b g no we can't cover all the vertices in one step so it is neither the or the hamilton circuit nor the hamilton path now to find the hamilton circuit actually unlike the euler circuit problem finding hamilton circuit is hard means uh, we can't say that any graph clearly that this is a hamilton circuit there is no simple set of necessary and sufficient conditions and no simple algorithm so we have to properties to look for that no vertex of degree 1 in the hamilton and if a node has degree 2 then both edges incident to it must be in any hamilton circuit and no smaller circuits contained in any hamilton circuit means that the start and end point of any small smaller circuit would have to be visited twice so a sufficient condition of the hamilton circuit is that let g be a connected simple graph with n vertices with n is greater than equal to 3 if the degree of each vertex is greater than equal to n by 2 then g has a hamilton circuit so this is a sufficient condition only right and you can we can take here the traveling salesman problem because a hamilton circuit or path may be used to solve practical problems that require visiting vertices such as 
road intersections pipeline crossings communication network nodes and a classical example is the traveling salesman problem finding the hamilton circuit in a complete graph such that the total weight of its edge is minima now we have some summary about the euler and hamilton so if we have the property that repeated visits to a given node allowed node it means that the vertices so repeated vertices are allowed in euler yes but in hamilton no repeated traversal of a given edges are allowed edges are repeated edges are allowed in euler no in hamilton no omitted nodes allowed means it is possible that we have to remove or uh, omit the nodes in euler no and also not in hamilton omitted edges are allowed in euler no we can't uh, omit the edges but in hamilton i told you earlier that we can omit the edges so this is the summary of both the euler and the hamilton circuits and paths so i th i hope you have understand it what is the euler path and the hamilton path so thank you today's lecture is completed now